What is the sales mindset? What kind of mindset do you need to have to be a successful salesperson or closer? That's what we're going to talk about today. Now, if you'd like more information on how to get your mindset right, how to be a better salesperson or closer, please hit that subscribe button, get notified when new information comes out, hit that like button, it really helps the channel out. And if you'd like more information on how you can work with me and my partner, click that link below down in the description, get some more information on how that might be done. Um, let's get to it. Getting your head right before the sales call is extremely important. And there are so many different pieces of it that I'm only gonna be able to cover very general stuff here. And then I'm gonna do separate videos to break down these things. One of the biggest things you've gotta learn is state management. State management has got to be there. You need to be able to put yourself in a prime state of confidence and certainty before you ever pick up the phone. Now, methods on how to get into the right state. You can find them all over the place. I'm gonna go into them on another video as well. But learning the states, what they are, how you can put yourself into them and how you can control that is gonna be crucial. Number two, you have got to be able to be confident in the program, product or service you're selling. If you're not confident in what it is that you're selling, you're going to get that back from your prospect. They won't be confident in you and wanting to move forward with it either. You got to build that kind of confidence in what you're selling. Three, you have to have confidence in yourself and your abilities. If you're nervous on that phone because you've never been in sales before and you don't know if you can do it or not, that's going to reflect back on you as well. Your prospect is going to be nervous. They're going to be uh, less confident in trusting you to move forward with it when you're stutter stuttering and fumbling over your words and just not confident in general. Those three things are very, very crucial. They are the start to a strong mindset. Now, more in depth when it comes to mindset itself, you need to be okay with you. Hear that. To be a great salesperson, you need to be okay with you. And I know that sounds strange, but here's why. That every thought, emotion, belief that you have on a sales call will get reflected back to you from the prospect every single time. Man, my students, they come to me all the time. Man, I'm getting this objection over and over and over. They just keep saying this at the end of my calls. I can't get past it. And right then and there, I already know why they're getting that objection. I'm like, look, you're doing this on that call. You're feeling this way on that call, aren't you? You're losing control at this point, huh? And they're, yeah, yeah, how'd you know? <laughs> because all objections are a reflection back on you of what you're thinking. If you go into the call already doubtful about your product, they're gonna doubt the product. You're not gonna be able to express it confidently. If you can't believe in what it is that you're selling, you're not gonna be comfortable pushing somebody to want to join up with it or to want to have it as well. If you don't believe in yourself, if you're doubting your ability, that lack of confidence is going to come and they are going to have a hard time trusting you and building the confidence in you and wanna buy from you. If you're getting a price objection all the time, you, in your own mind, probably think your service or product is more expensive than it should be, or you think whatever amount you're asking for is just a lot of money in general. Yeah, you got that right. If you're selling a $10,000 package and you yourself think 10K is a lot of money to spend all at once, you're gonna get price objections a lot. If you yourself won't make a decision without having to stop and take the time to think about it, you're gonna get the objection, I wanna think about it a lot. What you are thinking is what gets reflected back on you. Having your mindset right before the call is the most important thing you could ever learn. Getting your state right, getting your confidence in yourself up, and making sure you've got a product that you believe in. If you don't have those things, it's not gonna work. Now look, if you'd like to get more information on how these separate things can be achieved, how to bring up your state, how to build more confidence in yourself and your skill, how to find 
right influencers or the right products to sell that you can believe in, then hit that subscribe button. Make sure you stay tuned because there's a lot more coming. And be sure and hit that like button if you got any good information out of this. It really helps the channel and I appreciate it so much. I'm Don Stratton, Godfather of Sales. We'll catch you in the next one.